Graphic designers, here is how to turn your images into these cubic oil painted designs. Make a copy of your image and with the polygon lasso tool, make a very rough outline of your subject. You want this to be quite rigid with a few straight edges. Even cut into the subject from time to time to add a few little splintered chips. Make a layer mask with your selection. Add a new layer underneath your selection and press Shift plus F5 to bring up the fill tool. Select a color from the old background. Hide the old image and make the subject layer into a smart object. Back to the polygon tool. Make selections of different body parts and section off as many parts as you would like. Press copy and paste for each part so they are all on different layers. Do this over and over until you have an amount you are happy with. Probably best if you label them for clarity. Afterwards, select each part and scale it out of proportion like this. Also think about which sections you want to be on top of others. Make new layers with clipping masks and with a soft brush at like 30% opacity, draw in some shadows. Don't worry about these being perfect, but use them to separate the different sections better. This may take some time to do, but when you are done, select the eyes with the lasso tool and go to edit, fill, content aware to remove them. If you have a problem with it not doing a great job, get the spot healing tool and do some minor cleanup around. Go to your layers. Select all of the character pieces and press Ctrl plus Alt plus E to convert them into a single layer. Now, get a soft brush and draw whatever doodle details you want around the character. I'd say to separate each part on different layers so you have more control on each different piece. Layer mask and clean up any of the lines that spill over. Then open up the blend options for the parts on skin and adjust the sliders how I am doing. Merge the doodles and body into one smart object after you are done. Now go to Filter, Stylize, Oil Paint, and copy these settings. Zawa, so, wow, this texture is nice. Go to Filter Gallery now and add the cutout effect. Easily just copy my settings and adjust if they don't work for your image. Merge everything into one again, but now include the background color we made. One more time, go to Filter Gallery, but now add the texturizer effect. Change the scaling depending on your image. And you are done! Send this to a designer who may find it useful!